on back to uh, K Dog goes to the movies. We're going to do the second movie. This is one of my favorite movies uh, in terms of a love story. We're going to watch the 1990 classic Ghost, starring Patrick Swayze, Demi Moore, and Whoopi Goldberg. You know, it's Valentine's Day. It's the weekend after Valentine's Day. That's why I'm choosing both these movies because this is one I can definitely tolerate. The other one, uh, The Notebook, was pretty good. And uh, we got, uh, um, you know, Titanic. But you know what? Titanic's just way too doggone long. It's three hours and 15 minutes in length. So that's kind of a long one. Maybe we'll save that one for a later time. But, uh, you know, been. Uh, been doing some things around the house today, you know, um, yeah, kind of tidying stuff up. I've been working on a new shelf in, in the back for my uh, DVDs and Blu-rays. It's, uh, you know, because when you're a collector not like me and you like watching movies, you start to run out of space really quick. And so I ended up buying these one of these big, huge uh, shelf units. Um, <laughs> and, of course... The panelings um, didn't quite line up because each piece has its own designated area. So needless to say, I'm the typical guy who doesn't follow directions. And that's why they put the directions inside the box and even label each specific part. That way you know which piece goes where. But uh, even still, you don't follow the directions. I just looked at the... I just looked at the directions, just looked, I didn't even read the directions. I just looked at the illustration and said, well, this piece goes here, this piece goes here. But here's another thing I want to say to you, the people that make this type of furniture and shelving units and whatnot. I don't care if you are Ikea or uh, some off-the-shelf brand. Don't label two different parts the same label. That's what happens when you connect two different K's in the wrong spot. Speaking of building things, we're going to watch the movie that uh, changed pottery as a hobby for for years to come. And it's, it is the 1990 film Ghost, starring uh, Patrick Swayze, Demi Moore, and Whoopi Goldberg. And I don't know what else to say. You know, it's remember for that iconic pottery scene, you know? So, let's get into the reason, let's get into specific warnings. The film is rated PG-13 for some frightening images, sexual content, language, and violence. So, we're going to throw up the good old viewer discretion is advised. So, parents do use your better judgment in when viewing this film or even pre-screen the film before letting your little ones watch this film. So, let's roll the film. Got the popcorn sitting right here. And then we got the soft drinks. Let's roll it. Ghost. Ah, yeah, the good old put a penny under the door trick. That does it every time, you know. <laughs> this is a quite an enjoyable movie for me because um, it's one of the few love stories that I myself enjoy watching uh, because it signifies how far would you go to show that affection and protect the one you love. Um, a little bit of trivia about the film. The film was released in 1990. I th believe it was one of the highest grossing movies of that year. Um, but look at the landmarks it did. It, it caused a whole interest in pottery. Uh, it put the song Unchained Melody back on the charts, which uh, was very popular in the 1960s. And uh, as of 19, then in 1990, it saw a resurgence back on the charts again because of the movie. Uh, Whoopi Goldberg won uh, an Academy Award for her performance as Ona Mae Brown, the the fake uh, fortune teller and uh, what what do you call it? Uh, uh, 
I can't think of the word, but you know, it, it basically signifies that they're a fake. And uh, of course, she provides all the comic relief in this film. And but, you know, she starting out, she's completely fake and phony, and some people are buying into it, and she's ripping them off, and then. Finally, Patrick Swayze shows up, who's dead. She she hears him, and <laughs> she's the only one that hears him. And then once that happens, she starts hearing ghosts in the night, and <laughs> it's it's quite, you know, uh, her her role is quite funny. And you know, Whoopi Goldberg won the Academy Award for her performance, but I'll tell you who else deserves an award for her performance and that's Demi Moore because there's a lot of times where she's in this film she's acting to nothing and has to pretend that something is there or she has to completely ignore uh, Patrick Swayze who was clearly on set during the whole production but had to ignore him like he wasn't even there it's it's just why, like, how do you do that? You know, that's that's difficult to do as a performer. Um, some other things. Jerry Zucker directed this film. Now, if you don't know who Jerry Zucker is, the airplane movies, the Naked Gun movies, yeah, a guy that's totally known for comedy directed this movie. And, and man, he did a really good job. Uh, and, you know, it's... The thing, the thing is, like I said, there is some comedic moments in the film, obviously, with Whoopi Goldberg, her character, and some of the funny things that Sam does and to her, And but uh, there's a really good crime story, there's really good drama that is, that is told in the story. Um, again, it's one of those, how far would you go... Uh, situations to show somebody that you would love love them and you know th in this case Sam Wheat played by um, uh, Patrick Swayze lost his name for a minute you know he's he's dead and then he starts investigating why he was why he's dead and why he hasn't gone on to his eternal de uh, destination, you know, he hasn't gone to heaven, he hasn't gone to hell, um, he's stuck, but he's, he finds out why he's dead, he's, he's killed over money, in a, in a drug smuggling deal, um, yeah, this, this is a great movie, I, I, I enjoy this movie, uh, I remember seeing it when it came out on home video back in 1990. As a matter of fact, the videotape was a white or grayish videotape um, that they had obviously dyed the plastic. And um, it was just a promotional thing that Paramount did. You know, to, it kind of went with the theme of the movie. So that is Ghost. Classic movie from 1990, released by Paramount Pictures. Just a great movie, good storytelling, good acting, and uh, the bad guy gets their comeuppance in the end, and so on. So, don't know what I'm going to show next time. Stay tuned for that. But other than that, see you later.